Hey everybody, Tim Helston here from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. So about a year ago, I embarked upon this journey that started with a Kickstarter campaign from a brand new company called Better Bike. www.better.bike. B-E-T-T-E-R period B-I-K-E. And uh, basically, the inventor there, lead inventor, Kevin Murray, uh, along with his son, Nevin, created a new form of transportation. It is basically an electric bicycle, Velomobile. Um, basically, they, have a, they had a vision for the future of transportation being a sustainable transport and uh, the, uh, the body structure on this thing is made out of aluminum, which won't rust, and also environmentally friendly chemicals uh, to make the body, the resin body, it's a hemp soy based body, so it's, it's kinder to humans, it's kinder to the environment. I was very impressed with the materials they're using, and, uh, and basically in speaking with the owner for about a two or three hours, we chatted, and uh, he described what the bike would look like, and, and its features, and, you know, the all the additives they were putting into it, and the thought, and I just fell in love with it, so when they announced their Kickstarter campaign, I definitely uh, joined in, supported them, and now, as of October the 7th, 2017, I am now the proud owner of a brand new red pebble. Now on their website, you'll notice uh, if you go there, you can you'll see there they offer many different options, a bunch of which I have. Um, some I don't. I opted out for some, and they have uh, you can get any custom color you want. They will match any color you can think of. Uh, basically, uh, I know one lady, uh, Mary who I've been having uh, you know, conversations with for basically since we both started on this journey, she got a very brilliantly colored purple pebble. I'm very impressed with that color. Um, but anyway, so here we go. So the headlights are on the front there, and then just below that on the angles are the turn signal markers. I'll light them up in a second. What you'll notice on this side, on both sides actually, well, we have mirrors. This is actually something that Mary found. Uh, these are uh, mirrors with markers on them. This is something that we found and actually special ordered and paid extra for. I'm sure if you talk to Kevin, he can probably do the same thing for you. But they flip up, which is really nice if you're parking somewhere and you don't want to get them smacked up. And they just click down into place. So I went with the three inch tire. It's a cruiser tire. I found think that the three inch tire will be much better for riding uh, more traction uh, heavier gauge tire you fill it to 40 psi the 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 rims look much more sturdy you know for something that's fairly heavy you're going to uh, want something good the window front window side windows back windows top and everything are made out of lexan one of the options they offer for the bike is to put a um an anti-vandal coating on it, and I would recommend that. You can either get it from them, or I've purchased my own anti-vandal uh, film, and I'm going to put that on myself. Uh, you can also get a windshield wiper. I didn't uh, go for that option, and uh, for now, anyway, maybe down the road I might change my mind and install it myself, but um, they have a windshield wiper option, which is really cool. Anyway, moving on. So as you see here, you see the open pebble, the, the side, the door. Uh, you'll notice along the sides they have markers, like uh, lighting mar light, lit markers. I'll light up the lights in a second here and show you. I'll just turn them on here. I'm going to beep the horn again. All right. So as you can see, the bike has some pretty bright lights. So this will be very nice in the nighttime. You'll see in the back, you can actually see it flashing on my garage door there. There's a flasher in the back. I'm going to turn my lights back on here and go through the video. So as you see on the sides, down by the floor there, and in the back on both sides, there's a, uh, a, a red flasher, a red uh, light. 
So one of the options again we got was with the uh, turn signals. They uh, they illuminate on the sides there, and they actually put a, a flasher, a little LED flasher in the corner here, which is nice. If you angle your mirrors just right, you can actually see that flasher, uh, so you don't have to have lights in there. And they've also got the turn signals on each side in the back, and which is really cool, a night flashing light when you put your lights on. The other thing they have in the uh, trunk area, so the trunk is actually a lockable trunk. So you, you lock it here and you just flip it. And this is really cool. I'll close it first. So you have it closed and basically what you can do is open it up and you've got trunk lighting. This is really handy. Um, very, I didn't even realize they were doing this, but the boys at Better Bike, wow, just blew my socks off with this. Like nobody thinks of this kind of detail, putting, you know, a lighting, an LED lighting strip under, under right here <laughs> onto the bike so that you actually have some lights in your trunk. The uh, trunk is weather sealed, as you can see. It's got a nice heavy gauge rubber weather, weather seal. And it's got gas shocks, so the trunk actually closes, and when you want to open it, you just touch it, and it opens up nice and gentle. It doesn't bang around. You don't have to hold it open like some other systems have. Under here, you'll see there's a piece here. There's a little door that you flip up, and you can pull it open. And inside here is your cord for charging. It comes out further, but I'm not going to bother yanking it all the way out. It just, it's not fancy technology, but it works perfect. Another, you know, added little bonus from the guys at Better Bike that, you know, other people don't think about. Otherwise, if I, if I did, if they didn't think of that, that's the charger. And this is the cable that it plugs into. You see, it just goes through here and sits in this. It can just pull it out, see? But if, if I didn't think of that, or if they didn't think of that, I'd have to carry that with me somewhere to charge my bike. Um, that's pretty big. Probably pretty heavy too, so I'd actually have to carry that with me at all times. Um, in the trunk, you can see I upgraded my battery. I ended up getting two of the large batteries, the biggest batteries they offer. So I think I have 64 amp hours of battery time with these two batteries in the bike. So that is quite good I should get a lot of mileage out of that and again there's markers on each side one feature that is really cool with the pebble that nobody else offers yet doors I think there's another company out there that offer a door but it's basically a half door and that's it this one here is a full door they zip down so they just roll up and they clip in but they zip down and it's a fabric door so it's solid on the bottom here. The other thing is if you want a little bit of air, you can zip the window down and you're good. So that is uh, definitely handy. And this is how they lock up here. You just roll them up and then just clip this in right here. There's a strap and you roll it up and clip it in and you're good to go. So that is the exterior of the bike. Um, I'm just going to shut the this and I'll turn off the lights. Uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah, okay, so let's go through the interior. So I've got my helmet here. One thing is really cool with this is the seat is uh, you can flip it up and it just rides in this track here on each side. There's a track. And uh, you can roll the seat back. I don't think I have it in the track. There we go. There. So it rolls back nice and nice and easy. Um, basically, it's got some lumbar support, which is really nice if you've got any type of back problems. You can actually independently adjust the seat on this in the front and in the back on both sides. So you can have the seat level. You can tilt it backwards. You can tilt it forwards. I mean, if you want to sit on a weird angle, you can. You have the possibility of sitting on some weird 
32 and a half in degree angle with your right butt cheek, you know, down further than your left butt cheek. I don't know, but you do have that option if you so choose. <laughs> don't know why, but whatever. Anyway, uh, as you can see in the back, there is a back seat. This can hold one adult sized passenger sitting in the middle or two children sized passengers sitting on each side or two pet sized passengers sitting on each side, possibly even three pet sized passengers. So let's go in here. Oh yeah, it's one option I did get in my bike is I got interior lighting, which is awesome. If you have to read a map or read a book while you're sitting there. So I'm just flipping it open here and you'll be able to see in here uh, the batteries and all the wiring. They use some major heavy gauge wire. Anyway, I'll go in here. This is kind of where you normally don't go, but I want to show everybody because this thing has suspension. If I can get it open while I'm holding the camera. Sorry for the jiggling of the camera here, folks. Just trying to get the thing open. There you will see the two heavy gauge shocks that this bike uses for suspension. I mean, wow. This thing is gonna ride like a dream. Anyway, I'll put that back and I'll put the seat down. So as you can see, the seat rails, seat covers and everything, or seat uh, frame is made out of good aluminum. It's like aluminum square tubing, so it's gonna be solid. And uh, there's a section down here. I don't have it locked right now, but it does lock. There's a locking mechanism here. You can open it and you can get access to all your wiring, your batteries. So there's one battery. It's got a little handle that folds up and down for taking it out and carrying it. And then this would just lock. Um, so let's do a review of the inside now. now I'm gonna climb in. So, I haven't really mastered climbing in this thing yet, but, uh, okay, here we go. So, as you can see, can't really see down there what's down there, so I'm going to do something here, show everybody. They actually installed, oh, that's the horn, by the way, they actually installed lights down there, which is a brilliant touch again, because you can actually see where you're putting your feet. To get your feet in the pedals the pedals come standard with it and actually the pedals actually have a uh, a little cage that you can see i'm just trying to hit it with my foot here to get it around you can see the pedals have like a cage so you can put your foot in there but uh, they're standard bike pedals so you can opt to put your own pedal system in there whatever you use the handlebars move up and down so there's an adjustment I've moved mine down, but they can actually come forward this way, up and down. So you can make the handlebar higher or lower, depending on your stature. And obviously the, the gooseneck here, the neck of the, the bike, there's a screw underneath here. And you can tilt the handlebars in this direction either, as well. So you can raise them and tilt them. So they have, you know, movement up and down and this way here like that. So that's... A very handy thing so you can adjust the handlebars to whatever you want they offer a standard eight-speed transmission which is what I have they also offer the Navinci uh, bike transmission system uh, I believe Mary got that with hers and uh, really I've never tried the Navinci I, I just opted for the standard transmission so it works seems to work for me uh, it has cruise control which I'm not doing anything because I'm not using the motor right now. A horn, which is loud, you can hear. It's got the under seat lighting here. It's also got a button for the headlights. And a unique feature to the Better Bike product, it's got reverse. So you press this button in here, and when you push the throttle, you would go reverse. Because obviously you can see down below that there is, uh, you can't see the, f the ground below me. This pan that's in here that my foot's bouncing on right now 
actually comes out. You can see on each side there's a, well, you might not be able to see it, but the, um, on each side there's a piece that uh, comes out. I'm just reaching into my pocket to get a flashlight. So you can see here there's a bolt there and there's a bolt there and you can basically take this floor pan out and then you'd have empty ground here. The other feature this bike has is if you see right there there's a, a knob. That knob lets you move that whole pedal system forward. So if you want to sit further back in the bike as opposed to sitting up closer or if you're really really tall you can move that for you can move that back a bit more. So if you you know if you're over six foot two six foot three or whatever you can move this back. See how far you have a pretty good distance to go back. Um, so you can move that, those pedals further back. You can also move them closer up. So if you're shorter, you can move them shorter up, you move them closer up, and you can also obviously move the seat back and forward. Um, so basically, yeah, it comes with a wooden dashboard, which is really cool. So I'm going to turn on the interior lighting here so it's easier to see. So it comes with a nice wood laminated uh, dashboard, which is nice. So, oh yeah, it's a feature that I got with mine was an interior heater. So the heater, I'll turn the light off again. So the heater has two modes. It has mode number one, which is a low heat mode. And I can already feel the heat from that. That is nice. And turn it off and it's got a higher heat mode which you can see it lights up two of the elements in there and if you really want to sweat so that's nice it's mounted in a perfect spot because it'll keep your legs nice and limber and warm uh, I and they don't get in the way of the pedals that I can see I mean I want to hit that horn again there we go um, as I'm pedaling the the I can't see that it would get in the way i don't have the seat adjusted for myself but so that's why i'm struggling on the pedals here because it's too long but anyway i just have to move the seat up i'm just sitting far back so i can get the video but as you see as if i'm pedaling backwards my feet don't touch that heater box at all so but i think it'll be a really nice feature one thing you'll see here i'll zoom in a little bit they uh they include the mandatory sticker stating that it's an electric bicycle in both, for Canada, in both English and French. I'm not sure what the law is in the United States. Uh, perhaps it's just English. Maybe it's English and Spanish. I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, okay, so back to the thing. So it has uh, sensors on the bottom here. You can't see in the video, and I'm not going to flip the camera around, try and figure it out. Uh, there's two sensors on each, one on each brake, and that's for when you're braking, it gives you some regenerative braking. One other feature that Mary found that I like, uh, I think the standard pebble comes with a strap that just keeps the brake in so it doesn't move when you get in and out. And for parking, if you're going to park on a hill, this one here actually has a locking braking mechanism. So if I can adjust, do it with one hand, that'd be cool. So you put, clench the brake in, and you press this button and it keeps the brake tight and it doesn't move. And then you can just undo the brake like that and then the bike will move back and forth. Um, so back to the dash. So yeah, heater button, obviously key to activate it. It's got a uh, readout here for your uh, voltage. And very interestingly enough, it's got a high speed two port USB. So this is actually the high speed USB. So it'll be a quicker charge. So if, you know, if you're using your phone to plug in or something, basically you've got a high speed USB port here that you can charge your phone, charge your GPS unit, charge your helmet camera, whatever. Um, brilliant, brilliant technology from the folks at Better Bike. Um, so there's the view with the mirror on the side. And again, the mirrors fold up, which is nice. So they get out of the way. Uh, what else can I show you inside here? So this is the view inside the cockpit. I know, you, you know you're know you not going to see it very much, but you can see through the windshield. You get a pretty good range of view. Again, the handlebars go up and down. Uh, Eight-speed transmission. Throttle is down here. It's a thumb throttle. So it's very handy to hold too. So you're holding here on the grip and you can just touch the thumb throttle. Uh, I'm not going to run it 
right now because I don't have the key in it and I'm in my garage and I don't want to drive into my house. But the thumb throttle is very responsive. Like I just touch it a little bit and the bike will work forward. So yeah, you don't have to hammer on this thing to get her moving, that's for sure. And it's easy to pedal too, um, you know, with the weight and stuff like that. You'd think it would be hard to pedal, but no, it's not. So anyway, that is the exterior view of the Better Bike pedal, Pebble. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Again, go to www.better.bike uh, or contact Kevin Murray or Nevin Murray. And uh, feel free to ask me any questions you want. You can reach out to me on Facebook. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. No question is a dumb question. Please ask. And uh, always drive with a helmet. It's the law. Talk to you then. And don't talk and text. Or don't text and drive. That's what I meant to say. Do not text and drive. Because again, that's also against the law. So anyway, next video is going to be a road test. <laughs>